Mono, mono, win the street. 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 You know, and you'll get, you know, motherfuckers from the shade room and, and all the other motherfuckers up and shit. Why the fuck Plies ain't standing up for his girl? It couldn't be me. See, I can't stand a weak ass man who don't want to stand up to no man. And that's why you got slammed off the stage. And they, see, that's why I don't fuck with no, nah, see, that's why I, I would never fuck with no rapper because I, they talk all that shit. But as soon as something pop up with they girl, the only one who got they back, here they go. They don't want to do nothing. They don't want to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So they gassing you up. You know what I'm saying? Not a whole world saying, what the fuck you think Clyde gonna do to Gucci? And so they'll make you beef. So that's why, this is why I say, if you don't have full control of all the moves that your girl makes, you're going, this is what the fuck is going to happen. You have to be the head. The head means when the confrontations and fucked up situations show themselves, I have to be the one to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. Don't say nothing. It's not true. Fine. We know it's not true. That's the only thing that fucking matters. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by A.O. Conseco. Time again, let's get into it. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 movement. Keep your ears open. We got a big announcement coming down on that Men 2 shit. Um, if you are on child support, get to the Patreon. Make sure that you have your Men 2 t-shirt because the announcement and what I got going on um, is going to be heavy. Y'all know that one of the, the fucking uh, priorities of the Men 2 movement was to get child support reform. We've come up with um, a theory. Um, get to the Patreon. Um, it will be announced on the Patreon. You will have to show um, when we get deeper, like the Patreon is the first step, then when we get deeper, you're going to have to have a picture in your Men 2 t-shirt in order for us, because this, this shit is going to be kind of heavy. If you're not with it, it's what it is. It's totally free. This 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 tank is, is totally free, and it's um, going to be what it is. Um, and this is in hindsight. Today we talking about Plies and Gucci Mane. Plies and Gucci Mane. If you uh the other the joint uh video to this one uh is gonna be on the stupid rapper show um where I'm going to speak about um the Gucci Mane interview on Charlemagne the God's part. Uh, on Charlamagne God's channel, um, he did an interview with Gucci. There's a big fiasco going on right now where Gucci Mane is banned from the fucking Breakfast Club because Angela Yee felt disrespected because he let it be known that this nothing ass bitch was trying to fuck. And I've been told y'all, y'all remember this. I've been spoken out against Angela Yee, and I because I, I told y'all it's something up. With motherfuckers that laugh for no reason. I'm see these motherfuckers think you fucking crazy until you see. Damn, it was something going on. Laughing for no reason. Just <laughs> that nervous laugh bullshit. Behind some shit that, that, that like trying to finish folks' sentences and shit like that. You're you're overexerting yourself. And that lets me know that you're overcompensating for something. You just don't want none of the attention to be on you. Let me be on this person's side and shit like that. She's always doing it. Always. I don't give a fuck if that's her part on the show. Why the fuck is that her part? You can't make a person's part be that far away from who they really are in real life. You know what I'm saying? 
That I'm telling you, dog. I told y'all there was something to that shit. And now we find out she's a pathological fucking liar. You understand? One of the reasons, one of the reasons, and let me go ahead and take, Plies go with Angela Yee. They've been going together for like three years and shit like that behind the scene. Now Gucci come out and, and, and let it be known this hoe is trying to goddamn suck him up, all kind of shit. Like the nothing ass bitch she is. In this video, I'm gonna go and show you video, uh, pictures of Angela Yee with no makeup on. So you can understand when she say that she wouldn't fuck with Gucci and now she fuck, she don't fuck with nothing but street motherfuckers. She don't fuck with no stock fucking uh, stock brokers and shit like that. Doctors and lawyers, she fuck with street niggas. She been fucking with street niggas. When you see the pictures in this video, you gonna see like, yeah, this, that's the type of bitch to fuck with street niggas. This is an average motherfucker. And, and let me, it bothers me because here's the situation. Um, I was talking to my colleague and she said that where is the women's out, outreach groups? They may come out of the woodworks defending Angela Yee attempting to cancel Gucci Mane because Gucci Mane is picking on a female. I find that so funny because obviously Angela Yee is saying that Gucci never, uh, she she was never coming at Gucci. She never wanted to fuck Gucci. Uh, she never made any advances towards Gucci. Gucci saying you a motherfucking lie. I had to turn you down. You all in motherfucking uh, interviews talking about how deep your pussy is, all kind of shit. Ask me how long. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like that's how you coming. Uh, And I just let it be known that that's, that's what's going on, you know what I'm saying? He didn't make no big deal of it as far as like, yeah, you know Angela Yee, she want to... No, no, no. Because who the fuck is Angela Yee to brag on? You know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? So, for her to shoo shoo him up, like, I never, I would never. What do you mean you would never fuck with Gucci? We can see your rap sheet and it's already around the industry that you loose like a motherfucker. And when we look at your pictures, we can tell that you're not a motherfucker that's just hot. You're not making fucking, uh, 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 making good. I wanted to say, um, Melissa Ford, but I said, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't going to say made the stay, even though, like I said, made the stay and she do got a, you know what I'm saying? She got a, you know, what she don't have in face. She make up with body and makeup. You know what I mean? So, and we all understand how, but you understand. But, you know, that body can do a lot for you. That body, for a woman, all you really have to do, if you want to get some money, like, all you have to do is invest in your body. Like, and honestly, you will, doors will open for you just by being attractive physically for a woman same thing for dudes you can do it but the doors will be more dirty for a dude for a woman they'll be they might be dirty but a man is gonna have more coof coof uh, than a, a woman towards a fine man because a man is not supposed to be coming looking for no handout you know what i'm saying And the women that you're going to deal with that are going to, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just better for, you know, as a woman, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got your body together, not saying go to the DR and get your body done. I'm saying actually exercise, get your stomach right. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just being attractive. You know what I'm saying? And you can really clear up your whole everything by... I mean, you can go the short route. You know what I'm saying? You can go the short route and still win, but I'm telling you the healthy way to do it. Uh, you know, dieting and all that good shit. Waters and all that. But um, it doesn't work like that for a man. It, it doesn't work exactly like that. But um, we are in a world of extreme vanity. So, 
your the way you look is 50 percent period point blank and I, i'm really being generous saying 50 because it's really more like 75 to be honest but um what we're talking about and and you might like what the fuck does that have to do with it it has everything to do with it because at the time when angela Yee, and this has to be spoken before we even talk about plies and gucci because we have to talk about how, the, the the approach that plies took when shooting back at Gucci, the way that he shot back wasn't violent at all, and it was like that for a reason, and this is the reason why. Looks have so much to do with this shit because of the fact that, like, what the fuck are you talking about, Angela? What are you talking about? Back to the women's rights shit. Women's right group can come in and say, Gucci, you're picking on Angela Yee and lying and saying you had sex with her. This, we need to stop this. We have to stop men from lying on women that they didn't have. You're, you're, trying, to, you're trying to demean and defame her image. We're suing you for defamation of character. What the fuck? So let me get this straight. A woman's group can come in and say, we're going to put a lawsuit on Gucci Mane for defamation of character because he said that she, because she said that she didn't make sexual advances towards him and he's saying she did. You can sue him for that, for saying that he said no to sex. But what if Angela Yee would have said they did have sex and during sex Gucci was extra rough? You wouldn't believe Gucci when he said we didn't have sex. So switch positions. Angela's saying we didn't have sex and you're on her side trying to sue him. But when Gucci says they didn't have sex. You treat him like Brian Banks or any other man that has been falsely accused of fucking sexual assault. Because all you need is a woman saying something. All you need is an allegation. But a man allegation ain't worth a motherfuck and that's what we see here. This is truly the key to this whole situation. You get to see how invaluable a man's word is and how motherfucking high of a pedestal we just saw it in the Botham John case let's be fucking serious any way you want to slice it when it's a man going against a woman the woman's gonna win go to my fucking Instagram I just put up a video and I, if I can remember to put that video at the beginning of this shit I will but it's a video on my Instagram where a police officer is called to the fucking gas station because of a disturbance and shit like that. Someone's been stabbed. He goes there. There's a white woman in the car without a scar on her. And she's saying, he just punched me seven times. He gets out the car acting like a fucking turret. If you don't know what a turret is, it's on Modern Warfare. It's a gun you can sit anywhere and it'll shoot anybody that comes in front of it. But... He's acting like the turret to her. She's behind him like, there he is, there he is. Some black man is coming towards the officer like, hey, they fucking attacked the fucking black man. Get your hands behind your back. And then she's like, no, no, that's not him. They still got his hand behind his back. It's fucking chaos. Then here's another black man. But this black man is fucked up, eye bleeding from the neck. She's like, that's him, that's him. She's being erratic, so they, they detain her. But they go, the, the man goes towards him, get your hand behind your back. And just like, just being extremely, get your hand behind, like he's really finna up the fire on him. And then here come everybody saying, that's the fucking victim, you son of a bitch. No one understands how fucking real this shit is until you're in a real life situation. And... For you women, and that's why I say 
the women that lie on anyone have to be jailed severely. They have to be punished to the utmost extent. Can we not see how dangerous this is? We're going to take the word of elders, children, and women to heart the most. Who does that leave out here just to be killed at will and nobody give a fuck? So who should be fucking screaming aloud is about how unfair this is. But the issue is us, the victims, the true victims that are truly dying out here. Not, and it's not just, well, fuck that shit. Yeah, the fuck it is. Us, nigga. We the ones. We the motherfucking endangered species out this bitch. This is why it's in a fucking abundance of women and not that many fucking men out this bitch. But the men that are out this motherfucker got a... Uh, uh, uh. Because all the, the, the niggas who walked around heavy chest, chest quote unquote, real men is locked up or fucking dead. What are they locked up for? An accusation from a bitch? What are they dead for? An accusation from a bitch? We have to, it's like, what happens is though, it's like a natural response. You give people this power without them earning it, they're going to misfucking use it. The fuck? With much power comes much responsibility. They didn't earn this fucking power, they just have it. If I get mad at a motherfucker, I just tell the police you slap me. I wish a nigga would expose me, I'm gonna lock his ass up for rape. This is a known fucking thing. Where does that come in place here? This is what this shows. You have a famous woman. Gucci could have easily said she fucking sexually assaulted me. Is that not a sexual advance? If Gucci makes an unwanted sexual advance, he goes to fucking jail for Angela Yee. But now Gucci's saying in, 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 in conversation, hey, you know, she came on to me heavy. You know, it wasn't nothing too heavy. Now she's she's off top. She's saying, oh, hell no, that ain't happening. Hell no, that ain't happening. You got me fucked up because her people have told her. And I've, I've, I've heard, and I guess I'll say this on the Stupid Rapper show also, I've heard that the, uh, the Breakfast Club is actually coming to an end. This is why Charlemagne did the interview with um, Gucci and put it on his channel. He just made this channel in August. He has a YouTube channel now. So I guess they got the news or maybe one of them asked for something to change on the show. It didn't change. So now it's like, oh, you know I'm like this bitch. So I guess it's about to disband. So Charlemagne is going to do a interview with a known enemy of the Breakfast Club to show that yeah it's over with. The same way a bitch would show a nigga that it's really over with by going to fuck with his enemy. Um, and so that's why this it, it goes like this. But um, back to the point of this, that's the you know what I'm saying that's the hypocrisy, that's the the contradiction, that's to show you the inequality in all of this. Um, a man's word is worth nothing. It's worth nothing. But whatever she says is is and if, if she says it and he continues to say it, she says no, he continues to say yes. Alright, now you know what? We're suing you for defamation of character. You know what? I'm sending fucking people to you for whatever fucking reason. We've seen them make criminal charges out of civil situations. Shit that's never posed to code of court. We've seen motherfuckers get real sentences for them. So there's nothing outside of people's reality right now. You understand? So this shit is extremely fucking important. These are the small fucking keys that are being dropped in between all this shit. And if they're not documented, people will walk right the fuck over. So that, that's some bullshit. That I, I, that's, I, I really don't fuck with that. Um, but, uh, and stop that fucking lying, bitch. Like, we seen you, uh, we seen pictures of you and shit like that. Like, you not a bad bitch. Uh, 
from the beginning you was uh the sister of them girls that sung that song uh oh uh oh you was a fat sister and shit like that and so obviously somebody coming to you behind the scene your people saying hey we trying to get your career in another direction because this shit finna end so we trying to get you over here on some other shit and but in order for us to make it work you got to clean your image up because you got a slutty image in the industry uh everybody know that you know what i'm saying you can't you can't hide who you are on the inside on the inside you are exactly who the fuck you are in the mirror you're a man fucking eater you know what i'm saying but on the show and, and you know they, they hit you from the from the from your head to your you know your stomach whatever like that and or your head to your chest and so you can look like you a you know bad bitch whatever like that and you got niggas coming up this bitch you know looking at you from your fucking waist up and they're like oh shit this is you know what I'm saying with the makeup and shit like that and so it's like oh this, yeah I can see this being my little you know college hoe or some shit like that but it's not really like that for real you know what I'm saying so. That, that got you feeling like your head blowed up. But see, when you and Gucci was having that conversation, you wasn't, I guess your head wasn't that fucking big. So just like a, 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 a nothing ass bitch would, you trying, you getting mad for a motherfucker giving the truth of who the fuck you are. Like in, in real life, like this happened. You are this person. Whether or not you're still the slutty bitch that motherfuckers know you to be, that's, you know, that's what whatever the fuck. But eight years ago, before Gucci went to fucking prison, you was that motherfucker. Like, you let it be known. It's, the, the audio was out there. And then you fucking play these semantics game. Like, ah, uh, no, nah, Gucci said it. Uh, he's saying that we, um, I talked about how Asians have deep pussies on uh, lip service. He was never on lip service. So that's, uh, yeah, and I've talked to somebody on his team and he's going to apologize. First off, bitch, it's Gucci Mane. He didn't know the name of the fucking show. It was you, him, and somebody else. The fuck? But you said it. You knew what the fuck he was talking about. No, it didn't happen on lip service. It happened on another motherfucking show. Some, I think it's called Black and White or some fucking shit. You did say that. It's, it's out, like, what are you talking about? And then, in the interview we're going to see on the, the Stupid Rapper show, he say, like, I don't know who the fuck this motherfucker said she talked to. I ain't said I was going to fucking apologize. I ain't said nothing wrong. I'm telling the truth. And how many times have we had this where a man is telling you, this motherfucker is lying. But these motherfuckers start throwing out multiple motherfuckers, and oh, this shit must be true. And that's why, I, that's why that shit is it fucked me up because it don't take shit to get somebody to say something. It don't take nothing. Like that's one of the easiest thing to do. Is like, hey man, say this to the camera, man. We're gonna destroy somebody's career, I, and I gave y'all all the ways of how to destroy a rapper's career. Told you how to do it. Fake paperwork. Pay a gay person to say, you know what I'm saying? Get it somebody who looked like them and slap them and say that the fuck that they slapped them. He a punk, he gay, he a snitch. All three ways. And you can destroy a motherfucking career and they won't know where the fuck it come from. So I, I don't like that shit, man. I don't like that that that, that duck ass lying shit, man. But uh we, we get further into it, man, and we see that. In that in that interview uh, with um, with Charlemagne, Gucci, he he really did go real deep and like, yeah, she want to suck that motherfucker. Like he really went heavy on her, um, and letting it be known because it kind of make you mad when a hoe try to treat you like that, that nigga. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, Andrew? What are you talking about? Ugh, what do you mean, ugh? And when you do shit like that. It really give us that sedity idea in our head. And then we remember. It make it remind us that, hold on. This motherfucker ain't even black. She ain't even black. What she, like what what you mean? What what's wrong with what like you like these type of niggas? You talk the plies like you like southern niggas, gold mouth niggas, thug niggas. What are you talking about? It's not that many hoes that wouldn't fuck with Gucci. What are you talking about? 
You're saying that you're just too sedated, you too hot. Are you serious? Like, we, we know what you, like, come on. Like, you know what you look like. We know what you look like. Stop playing. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. But when they have these big platforms, you'll really, like, believe this shit. And I, I, quiet. Quiet. nigga trying to like a nigga I'm not telling no fucking lie and now you go so imagine your ex coming out you know maybe you speak and, and you just casually speaking and you you know ain't no you know I ain't nobody a motherfucker be ashamed of fucking with you know I'm not ashamed to say her name whatever it was with the past all good look I'm just making a point right here I'm not demeaning her in this conversation or nothing uh but I'm just speaking but you don't like to look like what you were. Like, you can come out and, and say that. Like, I, I hate motherfuckers who just get so amped about, you know, somebody in the past trying to talk, especially something small like that. Both of y'all in the industry, you made an advance. So the fuck what? And that's why I say somebody had to come to her and say, we got to clean up your image. Because why in the fuck? And you know it's true. You know it's true, and then, all right, so even if he took it the wrong way, if Gucci took what you said the wrong way, which I don't know how you take that the wrong way, like you're speaking sexual, you talked about how deep your pussy was and insinuated the deep pussy that Asians have, and then you asked him about his dick. Like, how, how else would a motherfucker take it? What are you talking about? And that's how a lot of motherfuckers are getting in trouble. It's like, hold on, bitch. You showing me all the signs of a fucking thought, and now I'm advancing on you like a thought, and it's a whole lot, I don't know what's going, whoa, bitch. I was just walking in the stove trying to get some fucking gas. I was trying to get 10 on 5 and go and give me some goddamn, um, you know, sour gummy worm and a, a pack of Newport Long in the box. And bitch, you all like, ooh, I, I wish I had somebody like you at the house. I bet you got some good dick. Whoa, yeah, shit, it's all good for what you know. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. What the fuck just happened? I'm pumping my gas and you just looking at me, gum in your mouth, twirling your finger and shit like that. You know, got your finger telling me to come here. I come over there like, what the fuck do you want? What kind of trap is this, man? What are we doing? What are we doing? A nigga get locked up for making a sexual advance towards a woman. How the fuck is she going to know that I want to fuck if I don't sexually advance? What the fuck are you talking about? I misread a fucking signal. I get arrested for that? That's why I'm, that's why I'm telling y'all the three S's is the only way to fucking go at this point in time. Until we get some laws changed saying that before a woman, before a motherfucker get prosecuted, before you get prosecuted, the woman has to go through some type of lie detector or some type of situation, you have to get the fuck off the field. They're not playing fair out there, so get off the field. If you will continue to play on a field where the rules are fucking all the way against you and built for you to lose, geared towards you losing, and you know the rules of the game, nigga, that whatever happened is on you. I can't do nothing but, but speak as a commentator about what's going on on the field and how fucked up it is. I'm the Stephen A. Smith of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But let, let's go and get to what's going on, though. 
with all that going on. So if you don't understand that backstory, you can't understand this supply situation. So, but this brings more light to another reason why she might be trying to make it, oh, hell no. Maybe she told Plies, I right, never fuck, even though Plies, like, you know, you you in the industry, you would have had to be hearing, you know, certain shit about this motherfucker. I would hope that you would call around and try to see if anybody else knows something about her. Like, yo, what's going on? I'm kind of feeling that shit like that. What's going on with all shit, bitch, bro? Ooh. No, bro, what's going on? Shit, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Yeah, they say I got that that boy, boy, that boy. But you know, and as a real nigga, you supposed to be able to read a nigga to tell whether or not he's saying that because he wanna. He's saying that because, you know, she did whatever the fuck it is. That's why you supposed to have a solid contact, uh, so that if a nigga say something, you can believe it. You don't need to be calling no nigga that is wishy washy. But that might you might not know the nigga wishy washy because he from another. That's why you gotta you gotta try to link. But sometimes you read a nigga wrong. Y'all just meet and passing and that little three hours y'all might have kicked it. He might get some real shit. Fuck niggas can do real shit. You know what I'm saying? Um it's just real niggas can't do fuck shit. You understand? Um So you you you, you nigga might fool you or some shit like that. But all in all, really, if we talking about man shit, like I told y'all, a motherfucker, a hoe. That's a known hoe from Baldwin County. I'll tell y'all a hoe from Baldwin County. Let me give y'all a name. I ain't gonna do that. But, uh, <laughs> um, I guess I could, but I, I mean, I, let's fuck that. Um, a hoe from Baldwin County can come up there to where you at in New York, come to where you at in California, come to where you at in Utah, Baltimore, wherever the fuck you at. Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to call out all the cities I, I, uh, 313, 913, all them area codes I know. But Canada, they can come out there at 25 and you will just look at their exterior and not know how many bodies she has. You might not even, you know, they have so many, they got shit that can fix anything nowadays. You know what I'm saying? To where she can even get her pussy back to feel like virgin status. You know what I'm saying? To where you won't even know. You know what I mean? Her, the bodies that she has for real. Especially if she go out there and fuck with a 19 year old. He won't know a motherfucking thing. You know, so they have ways to fix it. But the thing is, as I'm saying, I'm not sure what I would call you if you would if you were to allow her past, if she's a good motherfucker right now, no nab in her, she checks out in all ways. I think, to be honest, I think that you will be a fool to not fuck with her because some niggas over here say that she was, you know, like that. And you've been with her for five years and never had any issues. You've been with her two months. I would just tell you to keep your eyes open. I wouldn't even tell you to leave. I'd say keep your eyes open. If nothing checks out, everything is everything. You know, you didn't you didn't did your little research as far as maybe one day you told her you were gonna be home at one time and you know you made you know popped up and shit like that. You know, just because of the warning that you might have got. And everything check out and it's been checking out for years and years. And you leave, uh nah man, them nigga told me back in the day. I think you a fool for that. I think you a fool for that. So if Angela Yee is, is rocking out like that and it's all love, it don't matter. And like, cause you know that she didn't fuck somebody else before she fucked with you. So, um, that's why with this ply shit, I don't know really how to feel, but what we knew was, what we knew was, like one thing we do know is, nobody finna come out and say they fuck with goddamn uh, Gucci Mane wife, that we do know. You know what I'm saying? A Gucci Mane girlfriend. It's certain niggas you not gonna do that to. When Money Bag Yo, when 50 Cent had called uh, Megan Thee Stallion a hoe, which she is, um, he came to her and said, hey, bro, she ain't no hoe. Like, my nigga, you lame as fuck for that, but he had, that's, that's Megan Thee Stallion looking at him like, nigga, what the fuck you finna do? You know what I'm saying? But you put yourself in that position when at this current time, she's putting herself out there to be that. My nigga, you, you're dating a fucking stripper who's vocalizing. You know what I'm saying? 
how she don't give a fuck by the nigga, fuck a nigga, I'ma take a nigga money. And cause you have nigga guaranteed when the fuck y'all break up, you know what I'm saying? I hope that she has more coof, more decorum than to say I was just fucking with him for the money. And it, it might not get nasty until you know, it probably will get nasty because she gon' one of her friends, she trying to get a baby out you too, my nigga. One of her friends will probably, you know, make a post and then she'll like it and it'll be about a motherfucking ass back and forth on some bullshit. That's why the fuck you shouldn't date these motherfuckers who telling you who they are and then they come in the bed with you like, yeah, baby, you know, that's all business. And then if she's doing that for all you little girls, what does that tell you? She's telling you live the whole life, but at nighttime she in the bed with well, a fucking man. All of them. Every one of them. Southside, Offset. Um, and the nigga in Florida for, uh, Sukihana. But, so here we are. You plies, this your bitch, y'all keeping it on the low. You already have a reputation for not being what you say you are. So you switch your whole thing up to be a, um, comedy rapper, a comedy and girl rapper, um, because nigga slam you off stage, which can happen to anybody. But nigga, nigga wham you. And it wasn't just that because it was already rumblings of you hiding up on the toilet when, it, you know, them niggas came to the video shoot. But at the same time, you come out and make a statement. Now, is there any reason why you couldn't have just sat back in the cut? Because if you could have told her, if you, if you could have told heard that you you didn't go at him violently and viciously because you was trying to keep y'all situation on the low, then why the fuck couldn't he have told you that the reason I didn't respond is because we keeping our situation on the low. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, what it is is Angela Yee looking at you like, what you gonna say? I ain't do he lying. Oh, I'm about to say it. I thought I heard this video go off. Um, he lying. I ain't do that. He lying on me. So now it's like your your girl is getting attacked, and um, from your eyes, and it's like I think it would have been good if you would have came on that bitch and just like you could have just why what the it, and that's why that's another reason I say someone must be telling you to clean your fucking image up. Because why the fuck when you just say, nah, fuck that up, he right. <laughs> you know, back in the days, all good. Whatever the fuck. Or just don't say shit about it. Just go on like nothing happened. Why make a fucking fuss about the shit? You making a fuss about it made this shit bigger than the fucking world. And now you now this is now this is my big problem. A non-black muck. Let's just get to the point of it. Once again, a woman is potentially potentially in the middle of two men, two black men. A non-black woman is in between potentially two men having to bump heads. Now, of course, Plies ain't gonna come out the window heavy and say nothing, but he did make a statement, some shit like, ah, oh, man, Angela E., I'm just so glad that you, of course, he didn't say her name, uh, but, ah, oh, man, I think he did say her name. He did. I'm glad you just such a hardworking woman, you know, sweet pussy sad. I'm just so glad we got uh uh bitches like you out here busting baby. I'm so glad we got busted babies out, out here like you that's working hard and, 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 and we got good women that show what's going on. And that's so and that's another it's like, man, my nigga, you know, do your thing, fly, get your money. I really salute you. Um really salute you and shit like that. I hate that you're in a situation like this. Uh, but this, and it shows that anybody can be put in these fucking situations. Um, I think, you know, for real, for real, I feel like, you know, you being smart as fuck because having a bitch in radio, nigga, you ensure that your career, you know what I'm saying? So you don't even have to really believe what this hoe is saying, but fucking with her for three years, they're like, that's, that's some other shit, I, you know, so you really have to fuck with her, but having somebody in radio, very smart move, and you've been smart for your whole career pretty much um when you make mistakes you fucking corrected them 
You know what I'm saying? Like you've adjusted and, and kept moving. So I have to salute you for that pure point blank. Nobody can take that away from Plies. Um, but I just don't like the fact that it can potentially even be anything right there. Because, you know, with with Gucci being more vocal, it's this 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 comment is gonna be made. Like you know, and you'll get, you know, motherfuckers from the shade room and, and all the other motherfuckers up and shit. Why the fuck Plies ain't standing up for his girl? It couldn't be me. See, I can't stand a weak-ass man who don't want to stand up to no man. And that's why he got slammed off the stage. And they, see, that's why I don't fuck with no... Nah, see, that's why I, I would never fuck with no rapper because I, they talk all that shit. But as soon as something pop up with they girl, the only one who got they back, here they go. They don't want to do nothing. They don't want to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So they gassing you up. You know what I'm saying? Not a whole world saying, what the fuck you think Clyde's gonna do to Gucci? And so they'll make you beef. So that's why, this is why I say, if you don't have full control of all the moves that your girl makes, you're going, this is what the fuck is going to happen. You have to be the head. The head means when the confrontations and fucked up situations show themselves, I have to be the one to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. Don't say nothing. It's not true. Fine. We know it's not true. That's the only thing that fucking matters. That will be the issue also with dating a girl in the industry because they have managers, PR specialists, and all these other people who, okay, well, that's what's good for y'all's relationship. What's What about what's good for Cardi B's career? What about what's good for Megan Thee Stallion's career? Um, I'm, I'm sure you would want her to wear more clothes, but what about... Don't you want her to be independent? Don't you want her to have her own? And so she hearing that shit, that's why I say don't fuck with nobody in the industry. Fuck with somebody that's right here that's going to focus on... One of y'all got to focus on a fucking career. One of y'all got to focus on a fucking relationship. One focus on the career, one focus on a relationship. Why you worried about the relationship, you worry about, you know, maybe... I'm gonna find out what y'all did. Get, get, sit the fuck down. I'm gonna find out what y'all did in a minute. If I find out y'all fucking in, I'm telling you, but somebody has to be focused on the relationship, and the relationship has to matter to them more than anything. So, because. Any man can see, like, this is going to be a fucking problem. And I don't want to deal with this fucking problem right now. I do not want this. Like, I, you know damn well I don't want to go to war with Gucci. But if I'm a thinking man, like, I don't I don't want to, you know, this, like, I, I understand the rap trap. He's going to have to do something. He's Gucci Mane. If Gucci Mane backs down the plies, the Gucci Mane saga, actually, Gucci Mane could back down. He, he it's, it's, like, when you really all that, like, and your shit is built up like that, you really can come from a bunny there. Because you keep on moving that mirror, and that motherfucker gonna fall, and I'm gonna bust your fucking head. When yo, when yo, when yo, when you really act for real, and motherfucker know it, if Gucci say, you know what, I respect you, girl, my nigga, all good, we all that. It'll be respected because you know.
Now I touch it again here, I'm gonna bust your head. We know what it is. But betting on Gucci making the right decision, not no they ain't, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to bet on that. I wouldn't want to bet on that. But so what we talking about right now is a potential rap trap situation. Uh because Angela Yee is trying to clean up her image. So this once again, this shit come from the top. The people on the top telling Angela Yee something. Now you got Angela Yee ain't finna there's nothing that's gonna happen to her. But Plies and Gucci, now they come to the that's the fucking rap trap. The rap trap means people from up here can make shit happen and people like that have no fucking connection. No fucking connection. But now it's a Gucci and Plies beat. So once again, man, this shit, this shit is just it's so so many different ways that you don't never know where the cross gonna come from. You don't know what the fuck going on out here. So keep your head on straight, my nigga. Uh, stay focused on what the fuck going on. Who the fuck am I talking to? I'm hungry than the motherfucker. Stay focused. Obviously, I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to you, nigga. Don't allow your life to be. You know what I'm saying? understand these situations a lot of crosses come from in the middle of that cross right here in the middle is a fucking woman um that's how your woman defines who you are who you're going to be and how long you're going to live in the free world so you fuck with a nothing ass bitch you're going to have a nothing ass life period um because if you wasn't a nothing ass nigga, you wouldn't allow a nothing ass bitch into your life and you damn sure wouldn't let a nothing ass bitch come in your life and make any type of decisions. If you a nothing ass bitch and you come to my life and you not giving me full driving, I mean any woman, you gonna have to give me full fucking driving ability or I'm just, you're not getting in my car. You're not gonna get in my fucking car and tell me, well, turn it up. She turn right, nigga. She just, just make the car fly. I don't fly, nigga. Shut up. Oh, oh shit, this motherfucker just hit me. Goddamn. No, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. So this is the rap trap. Make sure you go to the Patreon. Make sure that if you're uh, in the Man Two movement, that you um get to the Patreon. I know that you already got your shirt. I got an announcement for you. I see y'all in a minute. Make sure you hit the PayPal and the Cash App. Fuck with the motherfucker, Tama. I see y'all in a minute. Love, love.